Um, it is quite sad to look at, and the fact that society already look at young black people as people that do wrong and they, you know, they, they don't aspire to anything, that just helps fuel that thought. So let's not forget there are a lot of young black people who do a lot. They are going to university, they are studying, they are keeping themselves away from that gang life, as you call it. But yeah. at the same time, going to carnival, I guess, you can get intoxicated. There is rum punch available, there's different drinks, vodka even, that they might drink beforehand. You get in the moment, you're a bit intoxicated. Maybe some are yeah. smoking weed. I'm not defending it, but I don't think, there's other I reasons mean, as to why. The Notting Hill Carnival, clearly a huge number of black people attend. But the yeah, general, all... but generally gang culture is not just confined to the black community. We've got Albanian gangs running the vice trade, running much of the uh, drug trade. So gangs are not confined to the black community, and it would be a mistake to think but so. But it's not just gang-based. Two youngsters can have an altercation, and they're not from gangs. They're just different youths that see things differently, and they don't agree, and they get caught up in an argument, and the altercation ends in a bad way. What I will say, though, is young people shouldn't carry knives, and they shouldn't carry guns, because obviously if you Mm. use it, or if you carry it, you're bound to use it. But the Notting Hill Carnival has been going for years, and it's designed to be a celebration. Exactly. A celebration, an injection into London of a different Caribbean, mostly, culture. Celebrating our culture. And the Notting Hill Carnival is about the music and the joy and all the rest of it. Is it now doing more harm than good? No, it's still got that element of joy. Um, let's not take that away from the, the carnival goers that are there enjoying their time and making it good for everyone else. It's just that small amount of people that are making it um, look bad. And the thing is, even for young people, for anyone um, watching this now, you're effectively, when you're stabbing each other and killing each other, you're wiping out your own young generation. Mm. And our ancestors didn't go through what they went through for us to be doing this now to each other. Stephen Roberts made the point, and we showed some video there, of a mass crowd in a street and clearly nobody in control themselves. They're being pushed back and forth by this mass of people trapped into what is a Victorian street, basically. He made the point, why not do this in Hyde Park, where there's loads of space, there could be stages for music, there could be you know, plenty of room. Is it time to think about moving away from Notting Hill? Because isn't the danger that we sit here next year and we talk not just about gang problems and violence and people being drunk on the street or whatever it is, but a crush and, and goodness knows how many die? I think it's a mentality. What's Hyde Park going to change? If you're saying there's more space, isn't there more space to brawl then, if that's, if that's what you're saying? Well, there might be more space to brawl, but, the, but you wouldn't necessarily get that big risk we're talking about but of why? crowd What's crushes. What's the difference between Hyde Park and Notting Hill? Notting Hyde Hill Park is an is... affluent area, let's not forget. Yeah, I think it's to do with, with its sheer geography of the streets. But So overall, did you go to Carnival? I do not go to the Carnival. I have been in the past, yeah. but I don't go. Why is that? So for me personally, um, I think um, he mentioned it. If, there, if something did kick off and a crowd is going a certain way, you, it's like a stampede, isn't it? So I prefer to... Prevention is better than cure. I personally don't want to get caught up in a brawl because yeah. there are young people that have no respect for their elders. I'm, I look younger than I am, so... I don't want to get caught up with anything like that. And, you know, that's just how I prefer to stay no, safe. No, well, I, I fully understand it, but there are lots that do go, and I don't think the last couple of days have been particularly good for London. And just finally, my, my, my broader point, yeah. the Notting Hill Carnival, you know, is London becoming more lawless? Is London becoming more dangerous? The youngsters are growing up with a different mentality now. London's always been like this. It's just that now the youngsters, they don't have any fear. So the police do do their bit, they do try, but when you've got fearless young people, mm. that's not going to scare them.